Northwest Profiles, presented by CarStar. Cars are more than just metal. They're our friend and our best friend's best friend. When something happens to them, you can depend on CarStar for collision, glass, and auto care. CarStar, where accidents unhappen. I look for the, the tone, the blacks, the whites of, uh, of a scene or a, of a subject. And uh, the engraving is a beautiful way to illustrate uh, the blacks and whites. Images carved in wood and transferred to print. Just some of the works created by Spokane's Gail Mueller. Gail has always been a hands-on kind of guy. He has held art and advertising jobs at companies like Columbia Lighting and Washington Water Power, which is now a Vista. Gail met his wife, Bonnie, in the art program at Washington State University, and together they have been a creative force ever since. And uh, we built our house, we drew, we drew plans of it. We made, we made a little model of the house we wanted and went looking for a place to put it. And we saw this lot, and looked at the view, and, and uh, decided this was it. And we bought it at the, uh, on the spot. I uh, opened a furniture shop out on uh, East Trent. Swedish furniture was all in the fashion at that time, so I just made a, a number of various pieces, mostly custom. I just bought a welding outfit and the tools necessary to treat it and, and uh, operated the shop for several years. It was one person shop and it meant that I had to go out and solicit orders or I had to mostly walk in customers, but that meant I had to purchase the supplies and uh, do the work, deliver and install and, and uh, that just was more than a one man job because I was out of the office, out of the shop more than I was answering telephones. A friend asked me to teach some classes over at the college. They were evening and weekend classes, kind of how to, uh, how to treat customers and customer relations and, and uh, various workshops. And I found that very interesting. You just throw some questions out and the, the students would do the rest of the class for you. Eventually, Gail returned to school, getting his master's degree at Eastern Washington University and becoming a business instructor at Spokane Community College. Throughout his life, Gail has always made art. I scribbled, and I was illustrator for the uh, newspaper at Valley Ford, a little mimeograph production, and, uh, and mostly in textbooks, in the covers, and one thing or another, I'd, I'd scribble cartoons. Uh, everything that uh, Walt Disney did, I had to copy. And that was the training. In 1953, after Gail and Bonnie had created a Christmas card together, Gail got into using actual printing press equipment. The printing presses started in with uh, a neighbor seeing our card and saying, hey Gail, I know of a print shop that's for sale. Our neighbor has passed away and he had a little print shop so I bought the print shop and that kept growing to uh, there's a neighbor down in Garfield and this and that and and I kept buying printing presses. But I take a variety of tools to the workshop and every year the, the Wood Engravers Network has a workshop someplace uh, at, a, at the invitation of another engraver. Gail began engraving images in linoleum or wood blocks to which he would apply ink and then stamp the image onto paper. I'm not a spontaneous carver. I can't just sit down and poodle on it, you know, and something happens. So I do have a sketch and an idea and, uh, and an object uh, in mind before I start engraving.
Gail and Bonnie have worked together to hand produce a book of Gail's work. I made all of the, the tools I needed for, for binding, had the printing presses, and went to work and I printed all the birds. They were 40 years of birds that I had done at that time. A second book of Gail's artwork was produced by Tampa Book Arts. With his books, house, furniture, and artwork, Gail, along with his wife Bonnie, looked back on a life full of creativity and also patience. I've never timed myself because, you know, I'll come and work on it for a couple of hours or six or seven hours maybe till you poop out. And, uh, and it'll take me several days to complete a block that way. It's uh, off again, on again, gone again, Finnegan. I think this, the hand engraved work is very special. It's unique. And uh, there are some beautiful, beautiful pieces produced that way. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington, 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.